in the Russian capital. U.S. President Barack Obama has put forward his current counter-terrorism advisor, John Brennan, as the new head of the CIA. He's also announced maverick conservative Chuck Hagel as his choice for defense secretary. Well, to talk more on the president's choices, I'm joined now live by retired U.S. Army Colonel Douglas McGregor. Well, as a retired U.S. Army Colonel, are you happy the country's security will be in safe hands if Obama gets his way? Oh, absolutely. No question about it, particularly regarding Senator Hagel. Why? Well, there are a number of things. First of all, Hegel has been a very effective and strong critic of the interventions of the last several years and the mismanagement of our policies and the squandering of blood and treasure on missions that make no sense strategically for the United States. The past four years? Uh, that's what's upset large numbers of people who have supported bad decisions, the decision to intervene and then occupy Iraq and then to transform the initial operation in Afghanistan into a, a nation-building mission. Hegel's been right. Those were disasters. And I think that's one of the reasons that people on the Hill, not a lot, but some, are unhappy Among with his appointment. It signals a sea change in American foreign policy. Great. We are now going to exercise restraint with regard to the use of American military power. And I think we're seeing an end to 20 years of interventions from uh, Somalia to Haiti and Kosovo to Iraq. So does that mean that we will also see a change in policy towards Iran at the moment? Because uh, he was very much against sanctions against Iran and clearly against attacking Iran. But that doesn't seem to be Obama's policy at the moment, does it? Well, no, I think it's misleading to suggest that there's a great deal of daylight between uh, Secretary Hagel, or soon-to-be Secretary of Defense Hagel, and President Obama. President Obama has always been disinclined to attack Iran. Uh, and I think we're going to see some evidence over the months ahead for an alternative approach, which will rely more heavily on negotiations. So I don't think the, the desire of the Israeli lobby and the Likud government in, Te in uh, Tel Aviv for an attack on Iran will, will ultimately occur. Let's talk about Brennan, the nominee for the CIA. He's a vocal supporter of the controversial drone program, which reportedly has caused, of course, a, an enormous number of civilian deaths. Will he listen to criticism and, and perhaps we see a, a change of policy on drones? Well, first of all, I don't think that uh, Mr. Brennan is the man that you want to turn to to change that policy. I think it's Mr. Obama. Uh, I think Mr. Brennan is simply a long-service bureaucrat inside the CIA who has demonstrated that he is an Obama loyalist. He will ultimately do what he's told. And I think it's a matter for Mr. Obama, now that he is in his second term, to review those policies. Uh, and I think he will. Uh, how much will change? I don't know, but I think the policies will be uh, very carefully reviewed. But, of course, he's taking over from the CIA chief, the former CIA chief, Petraeus, of course, left behind a scandalous legacy. Is that going to be a problem that could be inherited by Brennan? Oh, not at all. Uh, you know, the, the disappearance of uh, General Petraeus is, is almost completely transparent to anyone in the organization. Petraeus wasn't very popular at the CIA. He had no previous intelligence experience. And to be perfectly blunt, I think large numbers of people were glad to see him go. Mr. Brennan, on the other hand, as I pointed out, is someone with a lot of time and experience inside the agency. So I think they're comfortable with his appointment. And again, I think many of the policies that he's publicly supported in the past will be reviewed by the president. You're very positive about these two possible nominations, uh, or appointees, I should say. But what about the Republicans? They're not so keen, are they? And could that be a big problem? Which Republicans? We have a lot, of, a lot of people that we call rhinos, Republicans in name only. Uh, people like McCain and Graham and others in the Senate who, who supposedly are Republicans, but in truth they're not true conservatives. The truth is that Senator Hagel actually represents a very strong stream of consciousness in American foreign and defense policy. One that we followed scrupulously for the first 150 to 170 years of our history. Americans have historically not wanted much to do with As anything President, beyond their borders. And we were very unhappy about our intervention in World War I. After World War I ended, we tried to stay out of all future wars and had the Japanese not bombed us in 1941, we would not have fought in the Second World War. So I think, I think uh, Senator Hagel is much more aligned with this traditional view that American armed forces exist to defend the United States, not to attack other countries. Very good to get your perspective on this. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, retired U.S. Army Colonel Douglas McGregor joining me live there from Washington, D.C. We appreciate your time.